Welcome to the Studio Art Department at Bethany Lutheran College. Bethany is a special place for artists. Here we learn to witness in a visual culture and become good stewards of our God-given talents. Well, now I'll show you how to open up this, uh, this transformer of an easel. Uh, right now we're in our kind of briefcase mode. <clears throat> These side legs will kind of snap out and fold down and you have to give this box a little bit of a tilt to get them to nest into their sockets here. So you can kind of tighten that in. I will say that this isn't, this isn't uh, a super strong structure. It's made to be portable and fairly lightweight. So you do have to be somewhat careful as you're managing and handling this. Uh, you're certainly strong enough to break it. Uh, there's a couple other knobs here to loosen. Tighten these all the way out. And notice I'm, I'm maintaining the tilt with my other hand as I take care of these. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. If I push this too hard, I could, I could uh, seriously damage these legs here. As much as you want it to flatten out, um, you have to kind of work with it. Okay, so there's, there's something hiding here, this leg in the center. Right now it's a little tight, so it's squeaking. Let me straighten this all the way out. And then I've got a connection here. It needs to be loosened. And that will swing free. And bring that all the way out. Be careful not to let it drop. Tighten that. One more on this leg. Loosen, extend, tighten, and now our tripod is ready to go. So with two hands, I'm going to carefully lift this and get it on its three feet. Okay, so now I can pick it up and position it. It's okay if these feet are somewhat on the, uh, on the grass or if you have uneven terrain, you can certainly shorten one of the legs to kind of level it out. Now to open up the top, to open up the top, we've got latches. I'll turn this so you can see. We've got some latches here that have to come open. And then also right on the sides, on each side, this can be confusing because you've got a knob here that adjusts the, uh, the, the height of the, the holder, the canvas holder, and then you've got knobs that allow you to extend these arms up. Okay, so this is what you want to loosen and bring it up, hinges up from down here, and then you tighten it in a vertical orientation. Okay. So now suddenly you've got, you've got an easel where uh, you can look at both your artwork and your subject matter from the same point of view. And that's really important that we're not changing your body position too much. You want to comfortably be able to look out and then work and look out and then work. So ideally we get this set up kind of at eye level. I showed you before about adjusting the heights of these holders. So I'm going to loosen back here and I'm going to loosen on the sides and be careful because now, you know, now if it's loose, it could drop. So I'm going to bring this close to eye level. I want it to be about the same height as me. So for some of you, it's going to go higher. That's a short guy joke. Um, I'll get my panel set up. and bring this down. As I set this up, uh, realize that there are parts that, that could get sort of buried in the easel, parts of the panel. So you can set this up and bring it down pretty tightly so that uh, you can still paint everything and hopefully the wind won't take it. 
Alternatively, you can use these little metal brackets that stick out. So instead of clamping in the wood, you can clamp in the metal brackets and they, they'll hold it securely in place without obstructing uh, your view or your access to the panel very much. And actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so remember to tighten down on the back. That'll keep it fairly, fairly tight. We're fairly secure here. Now, pull my pallet off and I can, if everything's out of the way, I can pull my drawer open. This drawer will come all the way out, which could be, could be an unwelcome surprise. So uh, don't pull too far, just, just enough maybe to give yourself a little bit of a ledge that you can put your pallet on as you get prepared. Now you have access to these hidden compartments underneath. You can pull out your brushes. Get a towel handy. And again, set up, set up a workspace that favors only the things you're going to need. If you have extra stuff, maybe you put that kind of in the back of, of your tray so that you're not digging around too much. Put a little thought into setting up your workspace here.